Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. Operation Goliath. This is going to be Germany in January 42. I believe that's 12.1. All right. With a jump back to the previous turn, I forgot to, to give Italy their uh, partisan generation role for Sardinia. And that's a miss. Okay, that's taken care of. Uh, now we need to do a random event roll for Latin America. That's an 11. And 11 is... Let's see here. Cuban convoy. Germany raids the Caribbean convoy line of North Cuba. German submarines at convoy raid on that line gain plus two. Well, there aren't any German subs down there, so uh, they don't get to use it. Uh, Germany's not doing any influence for technology. They're trying jet fighters, heavy bombers, improved factories, and improved construction. They got jet fighters and improved factories. So jet fighters is now complete. Improved factories goes to stage three. Is that gonna change the build? It might, let me think about that a minute. Okay, let's look at the purchase now that I've adjusted it. Germany had 65 marks in the bank. They are buying 14 infantry and two jet fighters. Two jet fighters is 24. 14 infantry is what? Uh, 14 infantry is 42. Something there ain't adding up. I'm one... I'm one IPP too many. All right, then I got to take one off. 13 is 39, and 24 would be 63, leaving two. Okay. So this is what we'll do. Take away that infantry, and we will replace him with a Volkssturm. That's a uh, German for militia. No, not really, but that's that's what I'm using for German militia pieces in home country. Okay, so that brings us to combat. Right, there's going to be a bit of combat, not a bunch, but a bit. I think you can see over here, all right. Okay, these two air transports in Bavaria are going to load these two Fallschirmjagers. They're going to fly one, two, there is an airfield there in Germany does have long-range aircraft. So the transports can fly a total of eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to drop the Fallschirmjagers in eastern Ukraine and then seven, eight and land in... Romania. So let's just go ahead and move those air transports over there. Two Fallschirmjagers into eastern Ukraine. Um, this fighter from uh, East Poland is going to go one, two, three, four, five to land. He's going to go in support of the operation. And then if uh, that attack is successful, Kiev will be surrounded, at which point these troops in uh, western Ukraine, here in southern Ukraine, except the cavalry, 
and these two tactical bombers and fighter will all attack Kiev. And then, uh, yeah, that's it for combat movement. So, let's get with it. Two false Yagers. Uh, fighter and the defending Soviet infantry. Okay, these guys all missed. The defending Soviet infantry got a hit. So, kill one false Yager. And go again. Okay, there's... Nope, that's not a hit. Everybody missed that time. Okay, there's a hit. And there's a hit. Wow, that sucks. Well, in order to capture the zone, the German's going to have to kill the fighter. He doesn't have any choice, otherwise uh, the, the whole thing was for naught. So, Germany captures eastern Ukraine with one surviving Falschenjager. Germany goes up one, the Soviets go down one, and Kiev is now surrounded. So let me set that fight up. Okay, there we go. Here's the attackers over here. We've got uh, six infantry attacking at two. We've got one artillery and one... Uh, artillery supported infantry at three, one light panzer at four, one fighter at six, two tacticals at seven. You got uh, one light tank defending at two, four infantry at three, and one medium tank at four. Of course, since they're surrounded, the Soviets are all minus one. So we got to give the artillery its first strike. That's a miss. Okay, now everybody else goes. So many dice, I'm dropping them on the floor. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's one hit. There's a hit. There's a hit. Defense, we have one hit. That's all I see. So we got three attacker hits and one defender hit. So the German kills one infantry. The uh, Soviets kill their light tank and two of their infantry. So the white die comes out. Two of the yellows come out, one red comes out, the artillery goes back in. Okay, what do we got here? There's one hit. I think that's it. No, there's a hit. Okay. Two attack hits, no defense hits. Kill the two infantry. Take out the two yellows. Soviets have one medium tank left defending. It misses. There's a hit. So that's the battle. 
the Germans have captured Kiev. Stalin is wondering why they were also allowed to capture an intact minor factory. That's something Beria will have to look at. Okay, that's Germany up 3 to 47. Soviets down 3 to 45. And I will get everything put back on there. Well, the planes. Let's see here. Uh, the fighter... The fighter is going to land in uh, western Ukraine in non-combat. The tacticals. Uh, the tacticals are also going to land in western Ukraine. And the land units uh, I will put back off camera so as not to waste time. So now, non combat. Okay. Uh, these two infantry are going to strategic rail from eastern Germany to East Prussia. So let's get those guys in there. This infantry in Warsaw is going to, what's he going to do? He's going to move up one space. To, no. He's going to strategic rail to Western Ukraine. In this version of the game, if you're playing, as you know, uh, rail gauge, the rail movement has to stop in the first zone after the gauge change. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot a combat. Sorry. This cavalry, unopposed capture of uh, Tyreen. I knew there was something else. that on there. Germany goes up one more to 48. Soviets down one more to 44. Okay, now let's keep strategic or keep uh, non-combating. This cavalry is going to move up one space to southern Ukraine along with these two infantry. Get over there. And this SS cavalry is also going to move over here to southern Ukraine. Uh, let's see, we've used two strategic rails, got two left. We're going to move. Two of these infantry from Yugoslavia to Western Germany. Leave one infantry down there with the mountain. And I think that's it. Now we'll place units. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot some more combat. I knew I was. 
uh, partisan actions here in uh, Finland. Let's see what they get. Do uh, Southern Finland first. That is a six. Let's see what a partisan roll is a six. No, I forgot to tell what I wanted to do. Okay, so we'll have to roll that again. Um, we are going to do resource disruption. Okay, that's a miss. Lapland, we will also do resource disruption. That is also a miss. Okay. Now, place units moves. Before I forget to do it, as part of place units, I have to do partisan generation rolls. So let's do Southern Finland. That's a miss. Lapland. That one succeeds. So there are now two partisans in Soviet occupied Lapland. All right, and is that it? Yeah, that's it for partisan generation. All right, now we place units. Okay. The Volkssturm is going into Western Germany. We have Two jet fighters in Bavaria. Along with three infantry. Five infantry each in Eastern Germany and Berlin. Now change that. One infantry to Warsaw, one infantry to Romania, then the remaining three infantry will go to Berlin. If I can squeeze them in here somewhere. I think that'll work. Collect oil. Germany was plus two this round on oil. So let's just get them in here. There we go. Uh, collect heavy water and uranium. One uranium and two heavy water. Collect money. Germany is at 48 and they have plus 14 in resources and bonuses, which is going to make what, 62 plus a wartime economy roll. Of six more makes sixty eight. Where's 
And finally, Iraq gets its recruitment roll, which is a miss. All right, that'll do it for this one. Uh, they're not doing anything in South America. Uh, Ozark Outpost, over and out.